beautiful YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the good, the bad, and the ugly. About cheek piercings, dimple piercings, whatever you want to call them. This kind of little vlog set up. There's some natural, beautiful lighting that is free. And it looks so good on my skin. So I figured it would be a perfect time to do a little video for you guys. And I'm just going to be talking about kind of before, during, and after. Everything about cheek piercings that I know that I can tell you about. Because I get questions all the time about my cheeks because they were really popular and then they kind of fell off the popularity wagon I don't care I just I love them that's why I got them so the first thing is I already had dimples before I got my dimple piercings I literally had the girl pierce exactly where my dimples were so it was easier for her. Now if you don't have dimples already and you want dimples, you can get them pierced, take them out, and there will be kind of an imprint for a dimple. But depending on your skin type and everything, you could, you know, it could scar up worse. It might not give you the effect that, you know, a normal natural dimple would give. So you have to kind of consider that if that's what you're going for. I've had my cheek piercings for about five or six years now and I did a lot of research before I got them done. In my hometown there was a girl who I knew and she had hers done. They looked really nice so I just asked where she got them done. I went back home to Florida. I went, uh, I think it was in Pensacola with my sister-in-law and her friends and there's something on my camera. Oh, there you go. It's so nice. Pretty. We made a whole big thing about it but as far as getting the piercing itself I made sure that the girl that was doing it had a lot of experience doing cheek piercings I didn't want someone who didn't really you know has only done a couple here and there uh, just because it's very sensitive it's my face there's nerves going through my face and everything so I don't want slump face because if someone hits the wrong nerve and then I have you know loose lip not cute the initial piercing itself didn't hurt that bad. The first one... Easy peasy, piece of cake. Uh, I, it didn't hurt me that bad. The second one hurt a little bit worse because I already knew what to expect. I was like anticipating the pain. The first one, my adrenaline was pumping so hard, I just didn't really know what to expect. And it was easier. I think that's with everything in twos that you get pierced. The second one's always a little bit more tender than uh, the first one. When I got them done, pain wasn't bad. They bled a little bit. I was just kind of sore. They gave me some mouthwash that's like a special type of mouthwash that they had at the piercing shop and I they basically told me to rinse with that every time after I ate something and my cheeks were just kind of sore it wasn't really painful now the next day ugh, like I want to say the first week was really bad because my cheeks swole up so that I already have kind of chunky cheeks y'all like um my cheeks swole up so bad I was like a chipmunk so it was it hurt to laugh it hurt to smile to eat and everything it was just uncomfortable now I got pierced with a super big um, bar I don't know if you guys can can see really how long that is but this was sticking really far out of my face once the swelling went down now they do have to pierce you with a longer bar because they have to give your cheeks room for the swelling because you don't want this to sink in um you don't want it to like concave you don't it's just a lot of things that can go wrong so you need that room to let them kind of be swollen be a little chunky monkey i waited I think nine months before I switched the bars out because yes they were annoying because they were kind of sticking out really far and everything but I didn't want to risk trying to change them out and then you know something went wrong because at the time I was living in Tennessee and I couldn't just go to the piercer and be like hey help me fix this change it out for me I had to do it on my own. So I bought new shorter barbells and some bigger uh, diamonds because the ones you pierced me with, they were just steel. They, they didn't have any diamonds in them, so I wanted um, these little white diamonds in mine. And when I changed it out, it was awful. Like I, like I said, I waited nine months 
changed it and almost automatically it closed up. So when I went to stick the new bar in, I literally almost had to like re-pierce it, pushing it through. There was blood everywhere. Um, I don't know if that's just my skin or I just went, because my other piercings I have, they don't close up if I take them out. I really thought that it would be fine for literally three seconds for me to switch the bar in. So literally, ever since then, I have not changed out my jewelry because it's that hard. Like, I know my cheeks will close up right away. That's just the type of skin that I have right here. Some people, I don't know, they might be able to take them out, put them back in, no problem. Not me. It's been years, and I know when I have to, you know, get new jewelry for my cheeks that it's really going to suck. So just be beware that there's definitely the chance that they might close up. I do not tell you that you have these little pockets on the side. Like right here. I'm kind of starting to get one right now. Um, and, and I'll also insert a picture of what it looks like when they're flared up. So you have these little pockets on the side and if you wear uh, makeup or anything on your face, those pockets kind of fill up with pus and it's not like a pimple. You can't just pop it and it's, you know, good, like squeeze it wise. Like you kind of have to like puncture a hole in it, let it drain. It looks really nasty for about two days and then it like subsides and you're fine. This is just a part of cheek piercings. I think you can ask anyone that has cheek piercings, they're a pain in the ass. Like I literally only wear light powder on my face and you, you know, you get the, the bubbles next to it. This one I don't have very many problems with. This one I always have problems with. Like it's, it's getting there where it's probably gonna have a flare up soon. Now, to take care of these now this is not a quick fix like it's gonna look amazing after you do this but it will help so it's only like two days that you'll have a flare-up first thing is doing a sea salt soak <laughs> my dented poor sea salt um, I just got this from Walmart and then you're gonna take a shot glass any kind of shot glass will do and you're gonna fill up I would just say sprinkle some in there get some warm water and then you're gonna place it over your cheek piercing kind of hold it like this and let it soak um, kind of go like this uh, ha, 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 see? Mm -hmm. and kind of let it move around kind of uh, it helps to me I don't know it could be a mental thing but it helps with the pain it basically helps with the swelling and everything and I would do that you know a couple times a day especially right before you go to sleep and then when you're done with that get some tea tree oil I got this one from Sally's and you're gonna take just a little bit of the tea tree oil you don't need a whole bunch on a q-tip and just kind of go around it and it's gonna help um, kind of dry it out and everything really just help heal your Pussage nasty stuff going on. That's just a part of cheek piercing. It's the ugly part of having your cheeks done I just deal with it because I love my cheek piercings. I think they're so cute But it's just the bad part now the good part, you know, you're gonna get probably lots of compliments They look really cute, especially if you have chubby chunky cheeks like me, you know, they just kind of Compliment because like I said, I already have them Dample I have some damples I got some dimples. Pretty much that's really it as far as taking care of them and everything like that. I've had them for years. I still love them. The, the only bad thing is those little fucking pockets. They, they get upset and angry and they scream. Trust me. Other than that, yeah, these piercings, they're my favorite. I love them. You know what I'm saying? I won't take them out. I'll be a grandma with my cheek piercings in. I feel really strongly about that. That's just, I love piercings. That's just how it is. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped out. If you had, you know, questions about cheek piercings, if there's something that I didn't really hit on as far as a topic of a question or whatever you may have, let me know in the comments down below. How many piercings do you have? I will be doing a piercing video coming soon. It's coming, y'all. Just give me some time and um, yeah follow me on Instagram I'm trying to get all my YouTube people over to Instagram my Instagram is at tattoo underscore Barbie underscore and if you want to see some of my tattoos and stuff it's on my Facebook and that is at the tattoo Barbie and until next time I'll see y'all beautiful people later bye